What's going on guys? It's Eric from Intelligent Quads coming back at you with another video. Today is going to be a really exciting video because I'm going to be showing off a website that I've been working on for the last couple months on and off. And this is a really cool website because it allows you to select a, an area of the world and generate the terrain as well as the aerial uh, imagery of that terrain area and it will output a gazebo model. So that means that your robot or your drone can roll around or fly around the area in which you're interested in simulating and then in the future that'll help you when you actually go and do the real mission. So without further ado, let's get into this video. All right, guys, so the website is intelligentquads.com. And when you come to this website, you'll be greeted with a couple sample images of what you can generate. And um, then there'll be an area down here that uses Bing Maps, and you'll be able to scroll around and position this, um, this box on the area in which you wanna generate. So I'm thinking about generating this little piece of um, land, and it's around Lake Travis, um, Texas and I'm going to be using 400 meters uh, as the side lengths of this box and then I'm going to just call it Lake Travis and really it's as simple as just pressing generate and you'll just give the website a couple uh, seconds to generate the model and then in a couple seconds you should have an option to save the model so I'm just gonna go ahead and save this model then I'm going to go ahead and open up my downloads folder and then come to Lake Travis and then I will extract it here and then I get this folder called Lake Travis. And so what I'm going to want to do with this um, folder is put it on the gazebo models path. So if you guys have the IQ sim um, <clears throat> repo installed, you can just go to your CACIN workspace and then go to source and then IQ Sim, and then uh, Models, and just uh, throw that right on the path. So I'd already done this, but I'm just gonna replace uh, the one that I already had, and uh, it's on the, it's in the Models folder. So if you don't have the IQ Sim Models, uh, if you don't have the IQ Sim repo downloaded, you can just uh, open up a terminal and then do Echo dollar sign gazebo uh, models and then path and then this will show you the um, places that you can put your model and if none of those places um, work for you you can then just run this command down here which is exports gazebo models path and then what is currently on the path and then colon um, the path to wherever you put your model and that'll allow gazebo to find the model that we just generated so now let's go ahead and open up a gazebo. So just go ahead and type gazebo in the console. <clears throat> Once that opens, you can go ahead and go to insert and then uh, find the model on our model path, which for me is Lake Travis. So I'll just go ahead and select that and then place there. And it'll take a second to generate the height map and then once that happens, then we should be able to see our terrain. So this is a relatively flat area, but um, <clears throat> if you zoom out, you can kind of see that the water is lower than the uh, than the land. And this is a this is this will be a good map to start on. Um, but if you want something more dramatic, consider generating a mountain and you'll have some pretty epic scenes. All right, so that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm gonna be showing you guys um, how we can use ArduPilot uh, and the model that we just generated to um, test out some of the missions that we want to we might wanna fly in real life. So thanks you guys for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.